Hi everyone, welcome to Paper Closet and to my studio. I'm going to put some videos together today. I have some new cards available and I want to show you a couple of different techniques. Now this is a shutter card. I don't have the belly band or anything on it and I'll do another video um, showing you how to assemble this and um, all the different options that are available, all the different cards that I've made. But all of my shutter cards come with handwritten sentiments on the inside. They also come with a blank um, sentiment so you can stamp or write your own but they all come with also this handwritten sentiment and I want to show you today how to put those together or how to open them up using your um, your silhouette or your Cricut. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright we are in Cricut design space and I have opened up my camera shutter card to show you how to do the um, printable handwritten sentiments with this card but it's the same with any of the cards so first you'll notice that I have a blank sentiment right here and I have already sized my card correctly I will put a video together showing you since the new updates how to size your card so go ahead and watch that I also have chosen the card with the preparation marks um, and we'll talk all about that in a different video but to upload that hand printed or hand written sentiment, we're going to come up to our upload. And then I'm going to come to upload image. And you can either do browse. I just happen to have it already opened here. So this is my camera shutter card. And we are working with design space. So everything we do, we want to take out of design space. So I'm going to open it up. And there's my SVG, which I had already had, and now I'm going to do my PNG. And let's go ahead and let's do Say Cheese. So we're going to just click on it, and I'm going to drag it over here. And it's going to show up right there. I get in the habit, I've said this before on videos, of just doing everything in complex. Simple or moderately complex would work for this one because it's just a black and white image. But go ahead and click on complex and then hit continue. It's all ready to go. The background is transparent so you don't need to erase anything. We're going to hit continue again. Did I not hit it? Continue again. It gets really slow when I'm filming. And now we have two options. We can save it as a print and cut, or we can save it as a cut image. We don't need the cut image because we already have it in the file. So we're going to make sure that the print and cut, or print then cut is highlighted, it has the green around it. You could change it if you wanted to. I'm just going to hit save. And now it's right there in my download images. So I'm going to click on it and insert it and it's going to open up into my canvas area at the right size. Now if I had done the um, the PNG that was not part of the design space, sorry my mind got sidetracked for just a minute, if I had opened this up in the uh, in the original file <clears throat> that said PNG and not the one that was under design space, it would come in a little bit bigger and you'd need to resize it. I don't need to resize this now. It's going to fit just right nicely in there and it's going to be a great print and cut. So I'm going to come over here to make it. <clears throat> now I have not attached my lines or anything like that because I'm just showing you this print and cut, but it is going to show up perhaps right in here and be ready to go. It's just really, really slow. I've got a lot of programs opened and I'm videoing as well. But there's my print and cut. Um, say cheese, it's going to print it and then it's going to cut that out. So on this next mat with the blank sentiment, you wouldn't necessarily need to cut that out because it's already going to do it right here. You would just hit continue. I'm not set up yet because my machine's not turned on. 
um, I would send it to my printer, I would print it, and then I would cut it. If you have any questions, go ahead and watch some other videos. I do have some more videos coming out to show you how to resize your images to make them the correct size and how to attach those score lines if that's what you decide to do. I hope you'll subscribe down on the bottom so that you don't miss a single video. And thanks for joining me today.